Last year, Tesla surprised the electric vehicle world by revealing that nearly half of the batteries used in the first quarter were lithium iron phosphate, LFP, also known as iron-based batteries. This change was significant as they had previously used nickel and cobalt technology. LFP batteries were already popular in China and are now gaining traction in Western markets. Rivian is following this path, while Ford and Volkswagen are actively testing this technology for future electric vehicles. Today, we will examine the new iron-based DV battery, comparing it to other electric vehicle battery technologies and exploring the excitement surrounding it. Additionally, we will investigate the reasons behind Tesla's decision to make this change and what electric vehicle manufacturers will need to create the ideal battery for their products. Chapter 1 From Remote Control to Cars It's quite possible that you have various distinct batteries in your home for consumer electronic devices, whether for watches or cars. Currently, these batteries have a remarkable capacity to provide portable power, but it's essential to remember that they come in various shapes and sizes. For example, CR2032 batteries are small and power wristwatches, while AA batteries are used in flashlights. Other alternatives include the reliable AAA batteries, which power the TV remote control and various small toys. When was the last time you purchased AA batteries? Probably not very often. They are used in LED light pens and laser pointers. We also have robust C batteries and powerful D batteries, providing power for portable radios, paper towel dispensers, and medical devices. Naturally, we can't forget the renowned 9-volt batteries, powering kitchen equipment. However, let's now shift the focus to batteries intended for electric vehicles. Last year, in 2022, Iron-based batteries represented only 3% of the market in the United States and Canada, compared to 6% in the European Union. The majority of the electric vehicle battery market consisted of nickel, cobalt, and magnesium cells. In contrast, in the Chinese electric vehicle market, iron-based batteries accounted for 44%, while NCM batteries covered 56%. So, how does iron-based battery technology, known as LFP technology, fit into this electric vehicle landscape? Chapter 2 The Quest Continues Lithium Iron Phosphate LFP, batteries have a history dating back to 1996 when they were initially discovered. However, it took a decade for them to gain the deserved spotlight. Today, these batteries play a crucial role in various technologies, from motorcycles to solar devices and electric cars. The name of the batteries is usually related to the chemicals used in the cathode, and LFP is no exception. It utilizes an inorganic compound called lithium iron phosphate, derived from the chemical symbol Fe for iron on the periodic table. Although they belong to the lithium-ion battery family, it's important to note that not all lithium-ion batteries are LFP. There are other variants, such as nickel-manganese cobalt, NMC, batteries and nickel-cobalt-aluminum, NCA, batteries, widely used in electric vehicles. Now, let's explore the fundamental differences in iron-based electric vehicle batteries. To begin with, it is essential to understand that batteries have the ability to convert chemical energy into electricity. However, conventional lithium-ion batteries tend to be unstable when fully charged. For this reason, the general recommendation is to keep these batteries at around 80% charge to extend their lifespan. Here comes the iron-based battery, namely LFP. The bond between phosphorus and oxygen in the LFP cathode is stronger than the metal oxygen bond found in other cathode materials. This imparts exceptional stability to the battery when stored at full charge. In practical terms, this means that LFP can be charged up to 100% of its capacity without causing accelerated degradation over time. 
In addition to its superior stability, LFP batteries are also known to be more cost-effective compared to their NMC and NCA counterparts, which rely on nickel and cobalt. The reason is simple. The extraction of these two materials is not cheap, and their acquisition also involves significant costs. LFP batteries, on the other hand, use a crystalline compound found in the upper layers of the Earth's mantle, making their extraction more economical. All these advantages have made LFP batteries an attractive choice, to the point where Tesla announced plans to expand their use in vehicles, especially in electric trucks and semi-vehicles. Indeed, these batteries contain a significant amount of lithium compared to NMC alternatives. However, it is crucial to note that the price of lithium can be a determining factor. Although the price of lithium saw a decline of over 30% last year, experts still express concerns. The drop in lithium prices may signal the end of a two-year bullish cycle that significantly increased the cost of electric vehicle batteries by up to 12 times. Now, with the recent decrease in lithium prices, experts expect electric vehicle battery costs to also decrease. This, in turn, may affect the prices of electric vehicles, making them more affordable. However, caution is needed and excessive expectations regarding a significant drop in prices should be avoided. Currently, the production of LFP batteries is dominated by Chinese companies. Tesla, for example, sources its LFP batteries from a Chinese company called Contemporary Amperex Technology Company. Limited. However, Political tensions between the United States and China make it challenging to facilitate Chinese suppliers establishing LFP battery factories in the United States. Despite all considerations, advocates for LFP batteries argue that the abundance and lower prices of iron outweigh the disadvantages that have hindered the global adoption of these cells. In fact, recently, Colin Campbell, an executive in Tesla's powertrain division announced that his team was eliminating rare earth magnets from Tesla motors due to concerns about the supply chain and the toxicity of magnet production. This doesn't imply that Tesla has invented a new magnet material, which occurs only rarely. Instead, it is speculated that Tesla has opted to use a considerably less powerful magnet, such as the iron magnet, which is a ceramic material. However, the large-scale production of an alternative magnet material still faces challenges, and analysts believe that Tesla may still continue using small amounts of rare earths in its vehicles for functions such as power steering, electric windows, and automatic windshield wipers. Completely changing this approach will take time. Finally, the quest for the perfect battery for electric vehicles continues. This ideal battery needs to have the ability to charge quickly, high capacity, safety, lightness, and compact size. Although it is an ambitious goal, the industry is constantly working to achieve this target, as a perfect battery would revolutionize the world of electric vehicles. For now, this journey is a challenge, but innovation continues to advance toward this ideal. Chapter 3, And What About Planes? When it comes to increasing the charging speed of batteries, various factors come into play, and it is important to understand the nuances that influence this process. One fundamental factor is temperature. Lithium-ion batteries tend to charge more slowly when they are cold compared to charging at higher temperatures. This is because the chemical reactions that occur within the battery are affected by heat or the lack thereof. Another relevant aspect is that batteries are designed with a focus on longevity. This means that the time required to charge the battery from 80% to 100% may be similar to the charging time from 10% to 80%. This approach seeks to ensure that batteries maintain their efficiency over time and do not degrade rapidly due to frequent charging cycles. The power output of the charging point is also a determining factor in the recharge speed. 
Charging stations with lower output power will result in a slower speed and longer waiting times, while those with higher power will allow for faster charging. Therefore, charging infrastructure plays a crucial role in the electric vehicle charging experience. To speed up the battery charging process, manufacturers face the challenge of exploring new battery materials that can increase efficiency and reduce charging time. Additionally, it is necessary to consider weather conditions, as extreme temperatures can significantly affect battery performance. Safety is also a major concern, as faster battery charging can generate excessive heat and pose risks. Another factor to be taken into consideration is the weight of the batteries. While it is theoretically possible to power aircraft with batteries, current technologies have not yet reached the necessary energy density for heavier planes. Even in lighter aircraft, the range is limited due to the weight of the batteries. For instance, consider a battery-powered 19-seat aircraft, which would have a maximum cruise range of approximately 160 miles. However, it is important to remember that planes need additional power for maneuvers and, in emergency cases, to reach an alternative airport 60 miles away. This would considerably reduce the estimated range to about 50 kilometers. The future of electric planes largely relies on continuous improvements in batteries. Developing lighter batteries with higher energy storage capacity is crucial for making large-scale electric aviation viable. In the context of Tesla and the electric vehicle industry, it's interesting to note that Elon Musk has adopted a strategy reminiscent of Henry Ford's actions in the early 20th century. Ford, by introducing the assembly line in 1913, managed to reduce prices for the Model T cars, boosting sales and mass production. Musk follows a similar approach by reducing prices for popular Tesla vehicles, affecting the company's profit margins. However, this strategy aims to increase sales volume and lay the groundwork for reaping higher margins in the future. Tesla plans to double its production in 2023, targeting the construction of 2 million vehicles. Tesla makes strategic decisions regarding the batteries powering its electric vehicles, and technological evolution plays a crucial role in this process. The automotive industry is in constant transformation, and the quest for more efficient and sustainable solutions is a path that promises to revolutionize how we commute. Now, if you think Tesla only cares about batteries, lower costs, and promoting the electric vehicle culture, you are mistaken. In fact, click on the video currently playing on your screen and discover how Elon Musk and Tesla made it possible, launching their first flying car. So, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, turning on notifications because I post new videos every day. See you in the next one.